We're going to start shooting on the middle lane and get you guys used to running the gear. So level two is different than level one in uh, several different ways, but the biggest way that it's different is that uh, it's on a different piece of property. It's nearby. It's hilly and wooded and got some little clear cuts in it. And you're going to be shooting underneath these little pavilions they have built to kind of keep the sun off of you and the rain off of you. And uh, you're going to be in simulated hunting situations. And you're going to have life-size targets out there at different distances. And you're going to be able to air them out. All right, this is the first station at the uh, level two course. We just got here and he's explaining to everybody what we're going to be doing. Apparently today we're going to shoot two different stations. So there's four targets over here and four targets at the other station. After this orientation, we're going to get started. My suggestion is when we start, you start on the left animal, okay? From this tree right here, these set of pine trees, to that pine tree right there is your left and right limits. There's four animals out there. They ain't that far. The furthest target here is around five or 600 something yards, right? But it's a great time to get used to running the gear, right? The spotting scope spotters. If I was gonna range that target, I'd take the spotting scope and I'd drop it down and either turn it sideways and give yourself a really good rest to range the target and I, and I just got it, so. Now you can tell the wind's kind of coming from about what, one, two o'clock from what we're shooting at. So it, even though it's a fast wind, it ain't gonna be that bad. So what I'd like you to do is figure out who's the first four shooters and then the first four spotters. And we're gonna try to get the wind while the shooters get set up. We're gonna program the rangefinder for the correct wind. I don't know if we got Mirage, my guess is we do. Uh, if not, I brought a wind meter and hopefully some of you guys brought a wind meter too, just in case. If you didn't, I got one. All right, so this guy right here, this is Tim McWhorter. Okay, Tim and I go, Way back. Way back. <laughs> Way Too back. far back. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to be Tim's spotter. He's going to be my shooter. So we're going to get set up, and it's a team deal. So go to shooting. There you go. That's the plan. I guess I need to get the binoculars, and you need yep. to kind of get set up. We'll get to work. A little bit low. There you go. Nice. Tim, tell me when. Send it. You're 3 o'clock just outside the circle. One of the nice things about this course is we're developing shooting positions that we can actually use in the field. That has been beneficial. Perfect. Beautiful. So the, the whole course is more than I really expected. I think this is great. But it has certainly helped me, and I intend to have a great time today and learn some more. Perfect. Oh, yeah. What's so cool about this, it really is like you're hunting. Yep. Uh, because you've got, I mean, you're all set up and also conditions. Look at that valley we're shooting across. Yeah. So the very next target we're going to is an elk. So I need you to find it, spotters. All right, the, the elk is just to the left of that fork in the road. Yep. He's facing right. Okay, let's shoot it at what it says. Trust you your gear. 10 point Watch your level. And 1.25. Dead elk. Woo, nice. Yep, there you go. When you guys get comfortable, you hear that, Tim? Give yeah. me three shots on the bear. 18.9. Yep. Win. Do it. Oh, that was so sweet. Nailed it. I see can see trace? the bullet just go trace. Boom. Remember to watch Trace stare just above the animal's back. You'll see it better. Far away. There it is. Perfect. Junior shot him, huh? That's good. I mean, perfect. Coming to this level two class has built my confidence. I felt like I was really good out to about 800 yards. Barber Creek's made my skill level go from here to here. Nice, we're done with this one. We're gonna rotate shooters. The cool thing about level two is that every person that is in level two has already gone through level one. But the difference is you're gonna apply what you learn in a real hunting scenario. <laughs> All right. Uh, now, this is a. Uh, this concludes shooting out of the first uh, station at level two, and it was so cool. I mean, we got different conditions, different wind, different holds, uh, and it's really a team. I mean, team effort. But I'm telling you, this is some kind of fun. It really is as close to hunting as you can get without actually having to buy a hunting license and go. So this station is gonna be a simulated hunting blind. So if you're a whitetail hunter, pay attention. James is gonna show us how to do it.
Okay, when hunting out of a shooting blind, the best way to make a really good shot is number one is have some kind of soft material between the rifle stock and your blind window because you don't want hard surface to hard surface and use some sort of rear support. In this case, I'm gonna use trigger sticks and I'm gonna put it on the stock and I can slide it back and forth for minor adjustments. So if I was getting ready to shoot at the target, I'll get on the target, lift up the trigger stick, get close, and then I'll slide it back and forth. And this makes a really good solid support because if you don't have a rear support when you shoot, it drops in the back and causes vertical high shots at long range. Okay, so a lot of folks don't realize they can shoot in the rain and basically because the bullet is supersonic, it has a pressure cell coming off the tip, it moves the rain out of the way. So as long as your projectile is supersonic, which is hunting distances, you can shoot in the rain. We're gonna take the angle of the rain, we can see it through a spotting scope, and it's gonna give us the wind speed. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna start at about 400 yards. We're gonna shoot in the rain and show you that it's an easy shot. Wind is left to right and the angle is about like this. So you're looking at about a five mile an hour left to right wind. So you're gonna give it about three quarter minute left wind. Three quarter minute left wind. Perfect. Perfect. Dead center. Dead center. We like to shoot, so we started hunting when Mason was like three and four quail hunting with me. And then we started shooting larger game, so we came here to learn to shoot 15, 1600 yard shots. So it's really neat to have the family, it's something all the family enjoy together, and um, we really have a good time. You're doing really good there, that was nice. Oh! Hey, I watch the high road every week religiously and I'm gonna get to shoot with Keith today. So I've got to show that boy from Texas how it's done in Utah. Perfect, perfect. Now I'd probably hold a half minute right. <laughs> I'm liking it because I actually made the wind call and it was right that time. The thing that gets me, you think that the crosshairs are straight up and down you and you, you could swear it. You watch the level bubble and you're off. I mean, if you don't pay attention to that, I promise you in long distance, you're gonna miss your shot. Oh yeah. Dead. Keith ended up shooting very well. We had a great time. That's one of the nice things about coming to take these courses is you meet new people, you get to know them, you become friends. There's a lot of banter, a lot of fun times, a lot of kidding, a lot of joking, but Everybody's willing to help each other, do whatever we need to do to, to get a guy on target. It, it, it's so much fun and so valuable. I don't see how you cannot take this course. You guys got to find that deer. A white tail that's hidden in the trees. Okay, this is the third station of level two. Only a nine mile an hour win. That is a long ways out there. Yeah, you're at 3.2 seconds of flight time. Three I'm seconds of flight time. Keith's in the middle of truing this. 6-5 Creedmoor and he's going to hit it first shot. Hit! Yeah! He hit it! Did you see it? Did you see it? I saw it! You seen it? I saw it! So this is just an unbelievable experience and if you want to experience it for yourself firsthand, 